Friday? It is Friday. Whew, finally. It has been one of them weeks. It has been. Golly, man, this looks <coughs> great. It's like Christmas, Christmas time, Christmas time. Man. You know, we always do our annual uh, Buster Balls thing. Sure. And, um, everybody likes to win fun gifts. And this year, um, we didn't know what we were going to do. We, we've been saving some stuff all year. And as it got closer, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, we didn't have any of the uh, adult products as far as the alcohol sure. goes. I uh, didn't even know if we were going to do it this year. And somebody said, well, it's, we was at one of our shops, and there's a new guy. He said, well, now, here in a couple of weeks, there's going to be Christmas balls hanging up. There's going to be all kind of liquor that gets given away. And they were, like, all happy about it. So the rest yeah. of the day, you know, as people were talking about, the one thing kept coming back that they wanted to win the Jack Daniels. They wanted to win the, <laughs> the you know, all the different styles. So we were like, well, we guess we're going to get some more. So yeah, yeah. That's they, cool, uh, man. they made a late entry. Uh, they just almost missed out this year, but listened to what they were saying and kind of find out they wanted that. So I think that's cool. Speaking of companies listening to what they want, I have to give Matco praise on something. And I don't, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. Shit, if I say it, I know you've seen it. But tell me, this is not cool. I'm going to put a screenshot up there of what everybody yep, is saying. Yep, yep. I, I saw that at a meeting the other day. So Nipex put green handles on their pliers for you guys. It's awesome, dude. So let me tell you how that went down on our side. Uh, they sent us out. Uh, we, we get a little pre-look at the stuff that's going to be sell, uh, on sale at our meetings. And uh, apparently, in my district, none of us look very good at it because we go to the sale, they put them up there, and uh, our DM says, okay, these are the, the Nipix pliers with the green handles. And I mean, immediately, it was like, wait, 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 wait. that's yeah. Nipix? You know, we automatically. I thought it was the Matco brand. We, we, when I seen it, I actually opened it up and I zoomed in. I was like, holy crap, that's the real Nipix cover. Yeah, not we the, did not, not know that that was it. Now, some of the other distributors outside of our my area may have paid closer attention, but it was all new for us at the meeting. We uh, we were like, holy crap. Yep. Uh, so I know there's a lot coming through different areas because they sold just because they were the Nipix and green and they well, knew their customers. Well, they're high. Like, they, good lord, like them things just flying on the eagle's back going over <laughs> Mount Everest. But they are cool, I have to say that. So they are cool. I guess you pay for the cool factor and you know getting it first or whatever. But I have seen cool. uh, a lot of people go to car lots and buy, and buy cool cars uh, and pay a lot for yeah. it, for sure. Just because you can't get it nowhere else. That's and it. over sticker price. Yeah, I've seen that. I know uh, when the new models come out, they always put a uh, special fee just for having it at the dealership. I saw that on several levels. And like you, and, for sure, out of all the people, because I've got a bunch of nitpicks from you, but... I don't need any more Nipex. Like I've got everything <laughs> Nipex has to offer, but I want a set of the green handles just because they're They green. are cool, that's for so, sure. I'm looking forward to seeing them on the truck. Yep, we'll definitely have them on here. Because I'm wondering, are they like the same textures, the red handles? Because I like that texture. I haven't had my hands on it. Or is it a smooth? We will find out together. I'm ready. So what we got this week? Brand so new. this is the, we've had the driveline sockets in the swivel version. Uh, but they actually kind of ADV kind of redesigned them for us. Uh, it's got a little different uh, area there, sure. um, which they are 12 point, uh, so you can use them on the forward. Not only in the drive line, but you can use them on cylinder heads, transmissions, different sure. areas. Uh, you know your, your torque converter bolts and stuff like that. Um, I've turned every one of those the wrong way, but just overall, I like the design here. So it. It's like the pinless design, mm -hmm. so therefore you're not having uh, the pin break and everything else. So, to yeah. me, that was a pretty good feature there. So, uh, we have a lot of requests for driveline sockets just because your big truck techs go through them so mm -hmm. often. So, what all sizes is in it? Case? It actually has 13, 12, half, and 3 eighths. Sweet. So, pretty pretty good nice overall kit. set. Uh, I know y'all got another set that's like a longer. Yep. It's got the extension on them. Those are really nice too. Yeah. Like, I was glad to get these added, um, the way they're designed and everything else. Uh, we've been showing them off all week. Sold a couple sets. Our truck techs really like them. And then uh, because they write driveline on there, your everyday automotive technicians just kind of overlook them. They go yep. on. 
So we've started, you know, asking about, you know, your torque converters, your, your cylinder heads. Now, some of your cylinder heads is going to be a little too tight to get that in there. Sure. I get that. Uh, so I, absolutely not on all of them, but on some of them, you could use them in that application too. So mm -hmm. That's kind of like the, uh, the VIM, the, I think it's VPW 100 set. Yeah. Um, it's listed as a dry, no, a drain plug wrench set. That's what the DPW stands for because they actually make sense with their part number. <laughs> so, um, you know, guys look at that and they think, oh, it's just for drain plugs, but it's not. It's a long double box in, you know, wrench set and it's freaking awesome. You that's, know, it's a it. full set. So, yeah, I don't get caught up on the name very much. Yeah. Um, and I didn't, I didn't realize how many people did. And I get it. You don't. You know, the, the number one thing we've been hearing was you don't use a hammer for, you know, a screwdriver. Well, I, I get that, but mm -hmm. this is not in the same category. This is... Well, they were to quit putting them daggum <laughs> pry bars in the screwdriver set. There ain't nobody changing light switch covers. <laughs> you are correct. So, we've also, we've you know, I'm a big electrical guy, so this week we've been showing our uh, electrical devices as well. Oh, and this nice. is, a, yeah, this is our cordless... Uh, max output rechargeable soldering iron. The cool f thing about it is they've got it listed at six seconds. Um, I tend to want to say around you know eight, nine, ten seconds, twelve hundred really degrees. Fast, yeah, yeah twelve hundred degrees. So you're going to get it up there really quick. You're going to be able to solder really quick, and you're not chasing the the, the butane down and that. that so kinda, what kind of like here's my thing with cordless stuff. What kind of plug does it take? Something special or well. It's no, just, that's uh, perfect. It's, Micro USB. That's it. Yeah, and, and nothing special. Yeah, that's good. And that way, if you don't have a charger, where you still so keep trucking. You are gonna have that tip, but most people are gonna try to. Uh, well, they're not gonna try. They are gonna mold plastics and stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, then you're gonna have your uh, little torch side, good for your heat right. shrink and stuff like that. And it gets hot quick. Um, if I would have thought about it, I would have charged it up, but I've been playing with it all week, showing people, so it's probably run down. But, uh, well, uh, yeah, it's pretty much dead. We'll see if it'll get hot. That's nice, though, man. I like Man, I, uh... You know, a lot of people, when they, I bought that Weller, the battery-powered Weller, and I liked it. A lot of people like, I don't like it, I want to... So you can see, I mean, oh, yeah. there wasn't a very long pause there. Uh, of course, you're not going to reach up there and touch it right now. Sure. But I mean, you're just gonna hold the button for just a second, and we're already throwing heat off. So that's fast. But either way, really quick, and I'm I'm gonna tell a little embarrassing story on my side of it. When I quit being a tech, I've misplaced some of my stuff. Um, it happens. If you remember, I bought a toolbox for myself, and then I ended up going, yeah, I'm gonna put it back on the truck, and then she ended up selling it. So my tools are kind of here, there, yonder. Mm -hmm. well, I've misplaced my soldering iron. At some point, I had the uh, the butane power probe one. Sure. I really liked it. Um, so I was working on a car the other day, and I needed to solder. I, I can't find it, right? So I have a extension cord run all the way out about 100 foot in the yard, and I'm having to use, I know, this is terrible, uh, a wood burner. Yeah. Um, you got to do what you got to do, though. But I told myself then, I said, that tells you you got to go back to... You would think everybody has a soldering iron, stuff gets lost. So we're pushing, we've had this for a little while. I'm gonna push some of the simple stuff again for a little while because, I mean, that was, I told myself then I was going to have one. So this is our last kit. If it makes it through today. You're keeping it. This one's mine. Now, I don't know where it's gonna be at, <laughs> but it's mine. Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, like the guys were talking about when I bought that battery kit, they're like, oh, that's crazy, blah, blah, blah. But. I have had my butane not liked or run out of gas. Like you think, okay, I've got a bottle in my drawer, we're good, and it ain't full. You can't so, get the job through. You can always plug that joker up for a little bit and let it charge and keep Well, checking. and the good thing about this one is I just did it for myself and noticed the feature. It actually cut it right back off with a cap. So okay. if you do mess up and leave it on, that's on, but you have to push the button. So, uh, Either way. That's a nice kit right there. You know, when I first started uh, getting into these, I wanted to figure out a way to, to talk about the butane and everything else. You know, why would you go away from butane? Because 
it's worked for several years, right? Well, when they don't light, it sucks. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh, that's what sucks. But also, um, depending on your uh, where you work at, your area, and stuff like that, your your hole that you fill can get dirt and grit. Mm -hmm. And now, when you're feeling it, it's pouring out all around the sides. You're just having trouble. Um, I plug this thing in. I'm ready to go. And you're talking about it says six seconds. I've not ever timed it. Um, another distributor actually told us to start showing it with the torch on there because it's hard to tell yeah, people right. hey see it's getting hot without seeing it's getting hot mm -hmm. so the torch, the torch does that well but you've seen how quick it was mm -hmm. i mean it was it was going to start doing the heat shrink just like that yeah. everybody probably has a lighter on them but still you you're not going to be salting with a lighter mm -hmm. um not a lot anyway yeah and uh so the main thing is just the hassle of trying to fill the others like you said them not lighting uh, having to cut them up or down you know really cool well somebody was asking because every distributor is posting the thing on the bust my balls like what is the bus what are they talking about bust my balls <laughs> it's a cool promo that they do so you want to tell everybody how that works so uh well it, it works different for everybody but i'll uh i'll tell you how i do it um we have our sign up here if you pay a hundred dollar truck payment on our truck you're going to get to bust the ball. I've seen where some are lower than that, and I've saw where some are higher than that. Mm -hmm. uh, it all goes on the area and how much you owe your dealer and stuff. We set ours at 100 because that fits almost everybody. Right. But we also didn't want to cut people out. So if you do not have a truck account with us, if you start a truck account and it's over 200 bucks, 200 or more, you're going to get to bust one of the balls. Uh, and then, it, you know, if you PSA purchase, um, so if you don't like truck accounts, but you know, you're fishing to buy a roll cart or something on a PSA, you're gonna get to bust the ball, that's fine. Uh, and then we just, we have where, okay, well I already have a truck account, but I don't have enough to pay $100. Add 100 to your truck account, you get to bust the ball. And the cool part about it is, you can win any of that on that table. Um, and the way we do it, we don't know where the, what's in what ball. Uh, we actually roll everything up on a piece of paper, mix them all together, put them in the ball, and then we mix the balls again. So we're just as surprised as them when they bust the ball. <laughs> now, um, that's I why I am at Christmas. I have no idea what my wife bought everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm looking to see what they got too. <laughs> what I tell people is I tell people number one, don't pay a hundred truck, hundred dollar truck payment just to try to win the big prize over here. Right. Um, pay that $100 because you want to pay a truck down down or whatever because if you pay $100 and you win a $3 right. cozy, you're probably going to be pretty mad. So, but if you get your truck camp paid off, you can buy more good stuff. There you go. Um, that's so I look at it. That's what we tell people. Uh, we got everything from pocket screwdrivers, the, co the koozies, the pry bars. We got a little bit of everything in there. So it works out well. Uh, we severely uh, underestimated it this year. We're gonna have to put more up with more prizes because we got two more weeks and we went over half the balls that we ha had That's hanging good. up. So everybody's wanting to play. So go out there and see what your dealer's rules are and see if you want to play. I guess. There you go. Well, you got a lot of good stuff. It's nice. So the the liquor. So what goes first, huh? Uh, that's what everybody wants to go first. But see, they got to find it. Um, because there's no certain ball, so they may win it, may not. It yeah. just all depends on what they have in their ball. Lots of good stuff. Well, thank you very much, and like always, appreciate you coming by. Guys, if you like this video, you want some cool tools, Matco's got the green pliers, so <laughs> there you go. Like, if you're thinking about something that your wife needs to get you that you ain't got, I promise you, that's one of them right there. <laughs> so, send her that. All right, guys, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.